Hey friends, today in Doodle the Travel Bug, we are giving you tips on how to plan and book your Kentucky Derby weekend. The Kentucky Derby is held annually the first Saturday in May at Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky. The Derby is the most watched and most attended horse race in the U.S., so it's kind of a big deal. Now if you're like us and you don't live anywhere near Louisville, then that means you better book your stay far in advance and plan on coughing up some big money. Now you may have derby dreams of staying in a hotel as regal as the race itself, but if you're not a Richie Rich and you don't have a thoroughbred running in the derby, then you may have to put those dreams out to pasture. Do you want to give me the total? Oh, uh, so the total stay for tonight and tomorrow night will be 1,065, 459 plus tax. For two nights? For two nights, yep. Great. All right, it's clean. It'll do. The woman at the desk said that it is $600 a night here, uh, usually, but we just, we booked it so far in advance, so. Yay us. Plus, uh, we saw that our room the day after we leave when the derby is over, this room goes for about $85 a night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with it though. It's nice. It's clean. Oh, and look at that little surprise. Now you can stay far outside of the city, but something you should know is if you purchase tickets inside the clubhouse, grandstands, or bleachers, drinks are included in your ticket price. And it's a long day and the drinks never stop flowing. Included is beer, wine, liquor, and also the official drinks of the races, the Oaks Lily and the classic mint julep. I should also mention all the food at the Derby is also included and it's all you can eat. So that should help a little bit with your Derby ticket price sticker shock. Why don't you show the people at home what our tickets got us seating wise. What our tickets got seating wise? Yep. A nice silver bench, huh? Beautiful. Yeah. Soft and cozy. But we're what? We're right by the starting gate. The starting gate. We're going to get to see the Derby horses run by us twice in this location. So, so. in what location is this? Uh, we're in section 125 in the bleachers. In the stuff. bleachers. Yeah. All right. So, good stuff. And it comes with all the drinks and food benefits. So. Super duper. Good stuff. Now, the best way to get your tickets is you'll need to sign up for the Kentucky Derby and Oaks online pre sale registration. You'll get an email in the early fall to fill out a survey. Then most people are then selected to receive an email invite with a code for early November presale, most of which includes tickets to Friday and Saturday for the Oaks and Derby race. Single day tickets, they go on sale a bit later, but we definitely recommend the two day package. The first day is Friday and it's the Kentucky Oaks race. The Oaks race is for the three year old fillies. That's the girl horses. This day should not be underestimated. It doesn't garner the same popularity as the Derby, but it is a blast. It offers the same all you can eat and drink with races going on all day. Oh, and don't forget, we wear pink on Oaks Day. Everything is pink. Pink decorations, pink drinks, pink outfits, and pink hats. Look at your first drink, it matches you. I think, is this a lily you think? Delicious. I do not know. Oh, look, it's Thanks. dressed up with pink. What's that? They dressed up the building with pink. Oh, nice. And the second day is the big day. It's Derby Day. Another full day of fashion, fun, and races. You can feel the excitement grow as it gets closer and closer to the race. There is electricity in the air. Okay, let's talk about betting. You can do a quick Google search and study up on some horse racing terminology like place, show, and superfecta, and also learn about odds and payouts, or you can just have fun with it. The minimum wager is only around $2, so you don't have to be all in to have fun. There are races going on all day, both days, even a few after the big derby race. So there is so much fun to be had cheering on your pony. Why did you bet on two films? He has the best Instagram account. <laughs> best Instagram account. You heard it here. Super if he, active. If he wins, this is... <laughs> Hashtag science. <laughs> 
And lastly, plan what you're going to wear. Both days are fashion shows. Men and women, young and old, express their inner southern bells through wardrobe. There's bold stripes, busy plaids, pastels, bright colors, bow ties, and big hats. They all steal the show. Just make sure you dress for the weather, even if you have to throw in a little rain poncho in your purse. And I cannot stress this enough, comfortable footwear. These are long days with lots of walking, and the gates open up around 9 a.m. Uh, give, me your, give me your tips on what you would maybe do differently next year if we were to come back. All right, if I came back next year, I would not be self-conscious about the size of my hat. The bigger, the better. I'm going to get the most obnoxious hat I could find. Derby weekend is a crazy good time that everyone should experience once. And I better start looking for that big ass hat because our hotel is booked already for next year. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodlebug goes next.